Cortex here at Cranium Command in the brain. Oops, <laughs> excuse me, heavy brain activity. Do homework, remember to walk the dog, decide about science project. Hmm, what's that smell? Phew, being in charge of the five senses, thinking, memory, and problem solving sure keeps me busy. But I always have time to lead a tour. Come on, I'll introduce you to some of the important members of the human body team. Today we'll be visiting the brain, the message center of the body. It has three main sections. First, the cerebrum. Cerebrum here. Thinking, thinking movement, movement, judgment, problem solving. No problem. <laughs> Next, the cerebellum. My job, balance and coordination. And third, the brainstem. Think of me as the relay station. Messages from the cerebrum pass through me on the way to the appropriate nerves in the body. Here comes a message from the cerebrum. It says... Get on with it. <laughs> okay, okay, I can take a hint. No need to get healthy. <laughs> Action! Ready? Why couldn't the skeleton cross the road? Because he didn't have the guts to do it. <laughs> I love that one. It's just great. Okay, I got another one. Hey, Jessica, here's a note from the principal's office for you. Gee, Jessica, what did you do? Nothing, I don't think. Fred, maybe it was the time that I... Nah. Oh, it could have been. Jessica, why don't you just read the note? Don't mind if I... It's about to give it back. Hey, everybody, listen to this. Jessica Faulkner is to report to the principal's office today at 2.45. Take it from me. It won't be very pretty. You should know. You spent enough time there to have a reserved seat. Very funny. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to review what we've learned this week about the brain and the nervous system. Let's start by taking a look at what the brain looks like when it's cut right down the middle. Okay, okay. Jessica, 2.45. Sylvester, would you like to enlighten the rest of us with your thoughts on the brain? Uh, let me think. Now that's a first. The body won't work without one? Debatable in your case. Mr. Singer, we'd all love to hear what you have to say about the brain. Yeah, Mr. Singer. Well, there are three main parts that make up the brain. Why don't you show us? Okay. Well, here is the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and of course, the brainstem. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Jessica, what are the functions of each of the three parts of the brain? Jessica. Jessica. Uh, what? Care to join us? The brain? Why don't you tell us what the cerebrum does? Oh. The cerebrum? It's the largest part of the brain. It's covered by the cortex and does all kinds of things like thinking and reasoning. Hey, listen up, you guys. She's talking about us. We, we knew that. that. We're, We're the Cerebrum, Cerebrum team, team, remember? It's, it's our job to receive, receive information and decide, decide what, what to do about it. Huh? Yeah, I handle hearing. And I manage motor control so Jessica can move. I'm in charge of vision. I control Jessica. touch. Great, gang. But Jessica's going into system overload. Jessica. Jessica, what about the cerebellum? Jessica? Jessica, I was asking about the cerebellum. Are you okay? You don't seem all here today. I'm fine. I just have something on my mind. We'll, we'll say. say. Sure, sure does. does. Take, take it from, from us. us. Why don't you take your seat, Jessica, and... Sylvester, how about answering the question? Come up here, Sylvester. Sylvester. 
Well, the cerebellum um, is right about here. Oh, uh, here. <laughs> Can someone help him? Mission Impossible. Fred, think fast. <laughs> Fred, what was that all about? I was just demonstrating how the cerebellum controls balance and coordination. As you have just seen in the previous scientific experiment, in order for Henderson, excuse me, Sylvester, to catch the banana in question, the muscles in his eyes, arms, hands, legs, and feet all have to work together instantly. The cerebellum is the part of the brain that allows most of us to move everything at once without looking clumsy. Teamwork. That's how the cerebellum does it. Eyes forward, hands up, arms extend, legs step back. Teamwork. Thank you two for a most <clears throat> illuminating demonstration. That's what you're going to look like after the principal's office today. Okay, now let's talk about the third part of the brain, the brain stem. Now, how does it work with the spinal cord? Katie. Nothing can work without the brain stem. It connects to the spinal cord right here and controls body functions like breathing and body temperature. And what do those functions have in common? Sylvester, you don't like to think about doing them? It's specialty. You said something, Fred? Uh, sure. I was just congratulating Sylvester on his description of the involuntary nervous system. You know, the things the body does automatically, like breathing. We don't have to make a decision to breathe. The body just does it. The kid's got it right. I never rest. Uh -uh. I work night and day, day and night. Do I get praise? Do I ask for applause? No, I'm happy to do my job. No one even needs to know I'm here. Of course, there are times when I can't resist calling a little attention to myself. Like when people blink, swallow, or cough. There's no doing those things without me. <coughs> Jessica, do you want a drink of water? No, I'm okay. I just had a sudden tick on my throat. Just doing my job. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the business at hand and talk about how the brain works with the spinal cord. Yeah, I'll show you how I work. Say the hand touches something slimy. The nerve endings in the hand send a message up the arm and through me, the spinal cord to the cerebrum, all in a split second. Cerebrum here. When we, we get, get the, the message, message we, we decide, decide what to, to do about it, and send, send a response through the brain stem and cerebellum, back through the spinal cord and down to the nerve endings in the hand and, and arm, telling, telling the muscles, muscles yeah, move your, your hand and arm away quickly. Jessica? Mrs. Fielding, I have a note from the principal's office. May I please be excused? Yes, you may. Okay, brain, get ready for action. Brain stem reporting. Huh? Breathing faster and more shallow. Huh? Cerebellum here, coordinating all movement, Captain Cortex. Cerebrum receiving stimulus from eyes. Principal's office dead ahead. Cerebellum here, Jessica on steady. Think straight, Jessica. Be cool. We're with you. Come in. Jessica, come in. And Jessica, it has come to my attention that you entered the citywide science contest. You mean the one Mrs. Fielding made us, I mean encouraged us to enter? That's the one. Oh, my project blew up. It fell apart. Jessica, you won. I know I should have made a plaster of Paris volcano. Jessica, your project was a great success. Really? We'll be presenting you with an award in front of the whole school on Wednesday. Uh, you're kidding. Hey, that's great. But now won't everyone think I'm a brain? 
Well, aren't you? You bet! And proud of it, too!